Hello guys, Vino here, and welcome to this Vino Plunk production. And I think there's a feeling that I'm getting right now, really strong feeling. And I think it's time for a cuppa. Bloody fine cuppa at that. How are you guys doing? Hopefully you are doing very, very well. And me are doing spectacularly. It's currently 2.02, .02, or 2 minutes past 2 a.m. on Monday, the 22nd of May, 2023. Already asked, how are you guys doing? I'm doing really, really, really well. Just had a week off work. I'm actually going back to work today, technically, or later on today. However you want to phrase that, whether you consider the next day once you've... Um, once midnight's passed, or whether you consider it once you've gone to sleep. I know certain people that it's once they've gone to sleep. For me, it's past midnight, so it is now Monday for me personally. So I know different people have different mindsets when it comes to that. So, yeah, that's all well and good. So, yeah, I've just had a week off work, a much needed week off work. I didn't realize how much I needed it, and I'm looking forward to getting back to work get paid a week on wednesday and i thought i'd discuss some of the things that i'm looking to to buy actually so one of the things i'm actually looking to pay for on wednesday is the dragon ball super steelbook blu-ray box set. i don't know if i said blu-ray or not um blu-ray box it looks really cool um, a lot of people are saying it's a lot more bare bones in terms of its look and content than the individual seasons that came out for Dragon Ball Super, or the individual volumes rather. Excuse me. However, I've always fancied that Steelbook set since it came out. It came out last September. And it seemingly went out of print quite quickly. I don't know if recently um, Crunchyroll did another run of that box set but it seems to have gone back on the market and seems to have come back down to a reasonable price point um i've seen amazon pushing it i've seen zavi pushing it ebay um are pushing it quite hard um so yeah so i thought i'd um pick up a copy basically i've asked a ebay seller to hold on to it for me and they've agreed to do so so i'll be paying them on wednesday um not not this wednesday coming wednesday afterwards on payday so that will be coming as well and another thing i've um asked someone to, to keep by for me is what's known as the logitech heavy equipment bundle so over the last week since i've been off i've been really getting into farm simulator 2022 or 22 i think it's just called really fun game strangely um actually playstation plus um have just put in a game called bus simulator 21 next stop which again i'm really enjoying that game for some unknown reason but anyway so yeah i've been really enjoying um farm simulator um 22 and years ago and i mean years ago back when it was still SciTech. so logitech bought SciTech a little while ago and SciTech had a whole different host of peripherals from the x52 to the heavy equipment bundle to a bunch of different stuff and basically logitech have spent the last how many years since they acquired SciTech, relaunching all of the old SciTech peripherals SciTech had with the logitech logo the logi logo so they're now using nowadays on there and they got around to relaunching the still the heavy equipment bundle bundle fairly recently years ago i had the opportunity of buying the heavy equipment bundle from i think it was amazon warehouse deal it was for like 80 pound and i passed up on that opportunity and i've been kicking myself ever since because it's 220 pound brand new is the recommended retail price or the uh, msrp the manufacturer suggested retail price and i've been kicking myself ever since that i let it slip <laughs> so to speak so i've been keeping my eyes and ears out for a good deal on that and someone was selling it for about 80 pound on facebook marketplace um, I'm actually paying a little bit more for it because the person's holding on to it for me. Fair enough. But I'll be paying, paying for that or going to get that and paying for it um, 
probably either around that Wednesday or the weekend after um, payday. So that will be pretty damn cool. I'm really looking forward to playing around with it. The only problem is it is missing a cable that's supposed to go from the wheel to the pedals. And I'm trying to work out what the cable is. There are some subreddits. Let's say it could be an RJ11 cable. Some people are saying it's an RJ45 cable. Some people are saying it's an RJ10 cable. There are loads of different theories. I'm hoping it's just an RJ10 or something cable that I can get off of Amazon next day delivery and get that all sorted. That would be very nice if that's the cable that it is. If it's not, it is what it is at the end of the day. It's a network cable of some description. Just need to find which one it is. We probably have RJ Evans and RJ this and RJ that cables sitting around that I could probably test to see if there's any of those cables. Um, but I don't know for certain. I'm sure we have something laying around somewhere that I could um, can probably test. But yeah, that's primarily um, what's going. I'm going to be getting for payday of those two things. And there's probably going to be some. And gameplay videos and some streaming of farming simulator once i have all of the bits and bobs and the setup um and all that kind of stuff so yeah i thought i'd just do a little quick video here tell you some plans that i've got um going forward picked up some dvds the other day from the charity shop i know where they are hang on These will be in a DVD slash Blu-ray update at some point. But hey, let's give you guys a bit of a bonus. Picked up Assassin's Creed on Blu-ray. This was literally 25p. American Sniper. Because I've wanted to check this film out for a while now. And then the Robert De Niro collection. Now I'm certain as I can be. That I have some of these films already. But I don't have them in a set like this. Plus a couple of those um, releases there are actually um, snapper cases. And I've always wanted a snapper case in my collection. I don't know if I have one already. The only problem, not really a problem, is one of those releases does have a flipper disc in it. So mm, a little bit aggravating that you've got to get up and flip the disc over. But it is what it is at the end of the day. Um... Yeah, but I've wanted to um, check out American Sniper. Ever since I watched um, Mule. Is it Mule? I think it's Mule. Um, it's another Clint Eastwood film that I really enjoyed Mule. And Bradley Cooper is actually a Mule. And I really enjoyed um, Bradley Cooper in that. So watching, you know, Clint Eastwood and Bradley Cooper pair up for this film, which I've heard is really good. Really looking forward to. I know there's going to be some people who are going to say some things that I've got. Assassin's Creed, but for 25p. <laughs> Literally, because it wasn't, it's not stickered. I got this from a charity shop. It's not stickered. Um, so, the lady at the cashier was like, I'm not really sure what to give you that for. I thought Blu-rays were more than DVDs and gave it to me for 25p. So, can hardly, uh, can hardly complain because that was marked up as a pound. Um all, all box sets um, are a pound, unless otherwise stated. It doesn't have any ticket on it, so that was a pound. Um, yeah. 25p for a nice lenticular Assassin's Creed. You know, it'll be interesting to check out. And for 25p, you can, can't really complain, can you? So, yep, picked those up the other day. Um, sold some bits. I've actually sold some some bits here and there. Sold my Steel Battalion controller. Um, selling some games this Wednesday. Um, so yeah, things are going all right on this end of things. Anyway, guys, until next time, please take care and as always enjoy the rest of your day. Ta-ra.